Hi, demo of Wendy Light prototype. Uh, Wendy Light is a light based alarm clock, which I'm not sure whether it will be used to actually wake up or just have a nice bit of light there as the other alarm goes off. It's based on a strip of NeoPixel LEDs behind me, 86 of them, um, an Arduino Mega, which is hidden under the bed, and a couple of switches on either side of the bed to control the alarm and also reading lights that use the same system. Um, so it's not too dark in here so the camera actually works but you should still be able to see the LEDs. So let's start off with a demo of the reading lights. I've got one on each side that is of varying brightness. Uh, and for those <laughs> inconvenient moments where mainly I fall asleep and leave my light on, each side also has the ability to override both lights and turn them off by holding down a button. So on top of the reading lights, there's also the alarm clock, which I currently have set when I restart it to just go off 10 seconds after the uh, program starts running and I have a snooze set to a very short period of time and the alarm fades up very quickly just to show it in the demo. In the actual thing the alarm goes off at 8 o'clock each day, the snooze lasts 10 minutes and the effect comes on over somewhere between a minute and five minutes, so I've not worked that one out yet. So if we restart it now Ten seconds to go. And that's about full brightness. Um, and it because it's light in here, it doesn't have too much of an effect on the room, but you can imagine at night when it's completely dark, you can see the brightness on the camera. That's pretty significant in terms of waking you up. Uh, it actually, what's quite important is that the reading light is red, so it doesn't affect the uh, photosensitive uh, ganglion cells in your eyes, which control your circadian rhythm. Whereas the blue light is designed to affect them and wake you up in the morning. So we've got a snooze. and the alarm cancel. Uh, we've also got turning it on and off, just a simple effect to show you whether the alarm's on and off at all. Off, on. And as a special feature, uh, and because it's fun, there's an Easter egg where you hold down the on off button and it does funky stuff. Because why not? So, next features, um, I'm going to experiment with different ways for the LEDs to turn on and off, whether or not to fade the night lights down in the middle so they don't affect each other too much. Um, I've got touch sensors in the post to make a more elegant set of switches on either side. And I'll probably make the snooze button actually just an ultrasound sensor on top of the alarm box so you don't actually have to press any buttons you just wave your hand over it in order to turn it on and off. And the LEDs where they're mounted on top of the bed at the moment 
will get mounted behind the bed so you won't get such a glaring effect and they'll be invisible until they're turned on. There, that's prototype number one.